What's going on you guys? So today I have a question and it meshes pretty nicely with the uh, program that I'm going to be releasing soon, the approaching system um, pro product. Uh, he says, hey Lloyd, I know you get a lot of emails, but I had a question for you. I see women around me that I would like to talk to all the time, but whenever I do, I get really scared. Not so much what she will think, um, not so much what she will think about me, but what the people around me are going to think about me. I approached a girl one time and felt very embarrassed, thinking everyone around me was looking at me and judging me. How can I stop feeling this way? Thanks. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is a pretty common issue that I see a lot of guys come to me with my, and my students and people who view my channel. Uh, and yeah, it's something that I'm going to be going over extensively in the approaching system, which is going to be released probably in about the next month or so. So if you want to get notified about that, I highly recommend you click the link. Um, that gives you access to all the lowest prices. It helps you create it with me because um, I want to get feedback from you guys. Uh, so very important. Click on that link and uh, you'll get notified. Okay, cool. So let's answer this guy's question. Let's give you a little sneak peek of what the, the, the full answer is going to be. So getting embarrassed before you walk up and talk to somebody or getting embarrassed while you're talking to somebody, it means you feel like you're doing something wrong. It means you feel like you're doing something creepy or something unethical. And you shouldn't because you're not doing anything unethical. You're not doing anything bad. You're just literally walking up and talking to a stranger, somebody that you don't know, and seeing if they want to talk back to you. And if they don't, it's okay. What I think is going on with you, dude, is that you have, you, maybe you're thinking too far ahead and you're starting to think about, oh, I got to walk up to this girl, get her phone number, get her out on a date, uh, make her like me. Don't make her anything, okay? See if she's open to talking with you. See if you like her. See if you guys click. And if you guys click, great. Get her phone number or maybe she's down to hang out right then. You can go on a little instant date and hang out a little longer. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. So stop thinking about it, you know, five steps in advance and just think about, hey, I want to walk up, say hi to this person and see if they're cool, see if we click, okay? And also too, you know, inevitably, inevitably when you're talking to strangers or when you're talking to people that you don't know, there's going to be awkward situations. Even if you're talking to people you do know those awkward situations, there's embarrassing situations. Being able to deal with these awkward and embarrassing situations is a sign of a high value guy. You know, a guy who's very confident is a guy who's you, who can be comfortable in these situations. People will look to you for that. And if you're fidgeting, if, if you're scared, or if it, if it throws you off or whatever, then the girl's gonna feel more uncomfortable as well too. So what you wanna do is get comfortable with being uncomfortable. I know it sounds kind of tough, but put yourself in tough situations, and I don't want you to think about it as, oh, these are embarrassing feelings that I need to get rid of. How can I stop feeling embarrassed? I want you to show courage and learn how to deal with things when they do get uncomfortable, okay? You know, just because something's uncomfortable doesn't mean it's bad. You know, I think most of the growth that you're ever going to have in your life comes from uncomfortable and potentially embarrassing situations. So if you're uncomfortable with that, it's going to be very difficult for you to be successful in life in general. You know, for me, when I'm walking up and talking to somebody, and I just did this over the weekend at Venice Beach and stuff, like, there were some people who didn't want to talk to me. There were some people who, you know, like, six feet away. Actually, there was only one girl who did that out of, out of like, the 50 that I talked to. Um, but there was a lot of people who were friendly to me. You know, if I hadn't pushed through that l little bit of discomfort, I never would have met those people. Okay, so if, if it does come down to it where you can kind of like, where you're looking at her and you see that she's trying to leave or if she doesn't want to talk right now, then that's okay, it's fine. Usually what I'll do is I'll maybe give them a compliment and be like, you're awesome, just give them a high five and then you know, leave them on their way. And most of the time they leave with a smile. I leave people better than the way I found them and that's what I want you to do. So why would you, why on earth would you feel embarrassed if you just want to walk up and give somebody some positive energy and see if they give that positive energy back to you? There's nothing wrong with it. You're bright, you're literally just brightening up people's day. And if it's not going well or if it gets like, you know, she can tell she's trying to leave, then let her go. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing and if you think about it as something that's wrong, then obviously you're going to feel embarrassed.
You're going to feel really embarrassed about it. And look, man, there's, like I said, there's a little bit of discomfort that comes with talking to people, introducing yourself. But in the end, if you want to have a good dating life, you have to be willing to go through a little bit of discomfort, go through a little bit of uncomfortable situations because then that's how you're going to meet that person. That's how you're going to meet that special person that you go out with or special people. <laughs> you know, if you want to date around a little bit, that's fine too. Okay. But you can't live in fear and you can't always think that, oh, these situations, I wish I could just not get embarrassed. I wish I could just not experience discomfort. You're going to. And there's ways that you can go through a conversation, you know, in the approaching system. I'm going to tell you guys step by step exactly what to say and do when you first meet somebody. But just for right now, you know, start by talking about the things they'd like to do, where they're from, you know, figure out if this is the kind of person that you want to be spending time with, you know, and, you know, put yourself as the decider as well too. You know, if you're constantly seeking approval, if you're constantly trying to prove yourself, if you're constantly worried about what the other people around you are going to think, um, that's not a very high value position to be in. Okay. So yeah, go in, think of, think of yourself as seeing if this person's cool, seeing if you guys click. And if anybody around you hears what you're saying, good. You know, you're spreading positivity to people. I like it when the people around me can hear. Sometimes I'll talk to a girl and then, you know, if it goes well or if it doesn't go well, I'll end up talking to the people around me. Some of them were hearing what I was saying. And that's fine too. I'm friendly to everybody. So if you think of yourself like that, I guarantee you, you're not going to be having very many problems. And guys, if you want the full answer or step-by-step -step process about how to do this, again, click on the link in the description box below. Thanks a lot and good luck out there.